Okay. I hope you remember what we were doing in the last lecture. What we were up to. Kya kiya tha humne last lecture jab humne liya tha. Regular expressions, right? Yes. We have uh, done a uh, few uh, arrays, right? We'll uh, do some more arrays and move on to the next topic, okay? So the next example is write the regular expression for the language containing the string over 0, 1, right? In which there are at least two occurrences of ones between any two occurrences of zeros. What is the meaning of this? What is the meaning of this? What will be our minimum language then? What will be our minimum language? Can I have epsilon? Yes, I can have epsilon. Then <coughs> what is the minimum uh, one length language? Can I have one length language in this? string i'm sorry not language string one length string in this can we have one length string in this if yes then what it may be understand the question regular expression for the language containing the string over in which there are at least there are at least two occurrences of ones between any two occurrences of zeros what is the meaning of this? If you have two zeros, you should have at least two ones in between. If you have two zeros, then at least you should have two ones in between. So can I have single element here? Single string here, single length string here. Can we have, students, please put it in the chat. Can we have? Uh, Saket says no, we cannot have. Raj says no, fine. Any other answers? Any other answers? Uh, students, please understand the question again. Read the question. Read the question. At least two occurrences of ones. What do you mean by two occurrences of ones? If I have two zeros, if I have two zeros, I cannot have this string, right? I cannot have this string. If I have two zeros, then I sh should have at least two, two or more. Right? Right? So why not I can have single zero? Why not I can have single one? Why I cannot have this? What they say, when I have two zeros, then I should have more than two ones in between. Right? Then when there is no two zero, then why cannot I have this single zero? Why can't I have single one? Right? Can I have a, a two length string? Can we have two length string? If yes, then what may be the string? We can have one one, right Preeti? Any other answer? Yes, Utkarsh. We can have zero one. Yes, right. Yes, we can have one zero. Yes, very good. Right, Yash. Right, we can't have zero zero. Right, other than zero zero, we can have all these. Is it right? Okay, then what else? We cannot have two length or uh, any other two length, right? Then three length. Can we have one zero zero? Can we have one zero zero? No, right? Can we have one zero one? Yes. Can we have zero one zero? Can we have zero one zero? Uh, Rushikesh, we cannot have 0, 1, 0, right? Read the question again. When you have two zeros, yes. When we have two zeros, you cannot have single one. 
we should have at least two ones, right? So we cannot have zero one zero. Okay, we can have one zero one. We can have one one zero. Right, we can have one one one. We cannot have two zeros because three length may will have single one, right? So we cannot have double zeros in three length string. Is it right? Okay, I hope you understood what uh, what is uh, the language. Okay, and so on. So for this, now tell me what is the array. What may be the R? What may be the R? Students, try. Quick. Yes, students. No answer. No answer. At least try. Maybe it's right or wrong. Try. If it's wrong, we'll discuss why it is wrong. It will be more clear for you, right? Give some answer at least. If there is double zero, then there should be more than one. So, what will happen So, what I can have here? We can have more than one or two, right? So, raised to plus I can have. Are you getting? Are you getting? I can have one star here, right? I can have one star here. Any combination, right? This is raised to, huh, students? Just make a note of this. This is one raised to plus, okay? I should have at least two ones. And after that, here I can have one or more ones in between two zeros, in between two zeros. Right? Okay. Can I make this star? Because this may be repeated any number of times, right? Please let me know. Students, can I make this star? Can I make this star? Preeti says no. Any other answer? Preeti, can you tell me why? Preeti, can you tell why, why we cannot have star here? Zero, one, one, zero, zero can occur. Yes, very good. Students just see here when we repeat this, right? When we repeat this, I can have zero, one, one, zero. Yes, Rishikesh. And when we repeat this, because of this one star, because of this one star, right? I can take epsilon here. And after this zero, I'll get again zero. So that is not required, right? So what we can do, we can just remove this. Okay, we can just remove this and we can repeat. 
So if I have second zero, if I have second zero, just a minute, just a minute. It is, uh, this zero will be this side, sorry. I'll, I'll take this. I'll remove this. I'll remove this. Okay. And then we'll have this. And then after that, we'll have or, or zero one star or one zero star or one star. Okay, we'll have this separately because this uh, just zero one is not in this. We cannot have it in this or just one zero. Sorry, it is not one zero star. It is one star, one star zero. I'm sorry for this. One star zero. We cannot have in this. So we can take it separately. Okay. If I have two zeros, whenever I have two zeros, this one one will be repeated. This is clear. Even this one star is not required actually. Even if you keep it, there is no issue. Okay. Is this clear? Shall we move on to the next example? If this is clear, any doubt in the students? Students, any doubt? Okay, fine. So we'll move on to the next example then. Write regular expression for the language containing the string in which every zero is immediately followed by one one. Very simple. Tell me this. Tell me this. What is L? I can have epsilon. I can have epsilon, right? Because um, if there is zero, it should have one one. What it says is, if you have a zero, it should be it should be followed by one one. So I can have one single one, right? I can. This is one length. Can I have a zero? Can I have a zero, students? In this example, can I have a zero? No, we cannot have zero. Okay, double length. What should be the double length string in this? It is one one. Okay, any other? Any other two length? Any other two length? No, we cannot have zero, right? If I have a zero, it should be followed by one one. So just one one. Yes, right. Three length? Three length? One one one. Okay, then, then zero one one, right? Right, any other, can we have any other string? Can we have any other string? No, okay. We cannot have any other string of three length. I hope you understood the problem statement. Now, coming to Ari. Tell me now what may be the array. What may be the array? What is the array for this? Uh, Preeti says zero, one, one or one star, zero, one, one, or one whole star. Okay. Students, do you agree with this or you have any other answer? One star, zero, whole star. Uh, Rushikesh says there is another answer. Okay. One star, zero, and you have given a whole star for this, right? And then followed by one one, okay? Any other answers, students? Okay. 
Utkarsh agreed with first one or second one? What you are agreeing upon? The first one, okay. Students, any other answers? Okay. Uh, let me know how many of you uh, go with first answer and how many of you go with second answer. What may be the answer? Students, first is right or second is right? I hope you can put uh, in the chat first answer is right or second or both are right or both are wrong. Quickly. Yash says first one. Saket says first. Okay. Others, there are 99 students. Rest are sleeping. Everyone says first one. Can somebody say why second is wrong? Except Preeti, who has given the first answer. Can anyone say why you say first is right? Second is wrong. Why? Reason? What is the string that this array is generating that is, does not belong to this given problem statement? One example. Students, make it fast. Give me one example that this array is generating which does not belong to this given problem array. Uh, yes, one yes, can be in the string, right? One, yeah, okay, one is not generated in this. Okay, fine. Epsilon is not generated. Where, yes, very good. Uh, Saurav is right. Yes, is also right. Then uh, Karthik 011011 is generated in this. See here, 011. Okay, sorry. 0, 1, 1, and 0, 1, 1, 0. I can take epsilon from this, right? I can take 0 from this and repeat it again. I can have 0. I can have two ones here and a single 0 here again. Okay? And come out and I can have 1, 1. So that is generated Karthik. Okay? I hope you are getting this. I can take epsilon from this. Okay? And start with 0. I can have this zero and repeat this. I can take two ones from this and I can take a zero from this. And I can come out of the loop and take one one. Is this clear, Karthik? One and E is not generated. Any other answer? Which, uh, which is violating the given problem statement? One, one, one is not generated. Yes. Okay. One star is not generated. Fine. Any other? Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. Right. One, one, one is not generated. I can say one star is not generated. Right. Including epsilon one, double one, double one is generated. Three ones. Right. Four ones together are not generated. Any other answer? Students, if you look here, I can take epsilon from this, right? I can take single zero and I can repeat. I can take again epsilon from this and I can take zero. Matlab zero, zero is also generated, which is violating the given statement, right? Whatever you say, that is also right. And even this is generated, which is not included in this example, okay? So this cannot be the are okay coming to the first one is there any string that cannot be generated
everything is generated in this. Whenever you have a, two zeros, whenever you have two zeros, at least two ones you can have. Okay, so this is the answer, right? Very good. Can we have the next one? I hope this is clear. I hope this is clear, students. Can we move on to the next one? Okay, so next one. Write a regular expression for a set of strings of zeros and ones with even number of zeros. I think we have done this, right? Regular expression for the set of strings of zeros and ones with even number of zeros. Have we done this? I think we have done this in our previous lecture. If you remember, put the answer. Even number of zeros. What is the answer? This is even number of one one. What is the answer for zero, uh, even number of zeros? I'm not finding it. Okay, what is the answer for even number of zeros? What is the language? We can have epsilon, right? Then, can we have single length? Can we have single length? If yes, what is the uh, string of single length? Students, what is single length string? It is one, yes, very good. Can we have zero? Can we have zero? Can we have a zero single zero? No, okay. Double length string, double length string quickly. I can have zero, zero, right? Then what else? What else I can have? Yes, Sakit, right. I can have one, one, Yashasri, Utkarsh, Rahul, Ruchita. Yes, we can have double one. Okay, three length, three length, zero, zero, one. Yes, Ayan, right? Yes, one, zero, zero, Rahul, Ojas, right? Any other? Any other? One, one, one. Yes. Any other other than this? Can we have zero one zero? Can we have zero one zero? Can we have zero one zero? Yes or no? Zero one zero. Yes, we can have, right? Okay. Fine. I hope you understood. Okay. So what will be the Ari now? What will be the Ari now then? It's very simple. We have already done in our previous lecture. Similar. Even length zero. Even length zero. Mm. Oh, just when you put a star to whole answer, it cannot be even, right? It can be one, it can be two, it can be three, any number, right? When you put a star to a single element, zero ko star ho gaya na? So zero can be repeated one time, two time, three time, four time, any number of time. So it cannot be even or odd consists of everything. 
right so it cannot be just zero cos star okay and you said single zero single zero to apna hai hi nahi hai na we cannot have a single zero any other answer any other answer please give me the answer so that we can discuss why it is wrong then only you will understand how to think and how to write if i give you answer directly then you may not understand if i write the other way why it is wrong so you give me the answer we'll discuss why it is wrong and then we'll discuss on the correct answer yes students any other answers i am uh, here you say that you will have either single zero or you will have two zeros that's all if i want three element if i want zero one zero is your uh, um are you generating that just check if i want zero one zero no because you say your string has single zero or two zeros right it cannot have four zero six and all because there is no repetition of elements there is no repetition of zero so you cannot have more than two other answer students how can we generate even number we have already done this in previous lecture how can we generate even number of zeros you tell me that first just only even number of zeros how can we generate it is 0 0 star yes very good it is 0 0 star simple na fir uske alawa hame kya chahiye one can be repeated anywhere any number of time rahul according to your answer uh, you say that 0 0 is always repeated together i cannot generate 0 1 0 right with your answer students check rahul's answer he says 0 0 whole star one star okay so yes uh, you are generating even number of zeros but not all the strings are generated using this which is in this language if i want 0 1 i cannot generate because you say that 0 0 is always repeated together right so we cannot have this answer right this string cannot cannot be generated using urre i hope you are understanding okay fine so now coming to this 0 0 star one can be repeated anywhere any number of time yes yes even that one star is not required jo aapne likha hai okay the other part is enough okay so one can be repeated anywhere any number of time but if z i have zero it should be z, uh, two or more number of time uh kartik again the same thing what what do you mean by one or zero whole star what do you mean by one or zero whole star iska matlab kya hai we have already done this in our basic re what is the meaning of one or zero whole star the meaning of one or zero whole star is any combination of one and zero any combination of one and zero right any combination of 1 and 0 matlab 1 can be repeated any number of time 0 can be repeated any number of time if i repeat 0 one time with 0 0 with 0 0 what you have given at the right side i'll have three zeros right and you say one or zero whole star or 0 0 when you have everything in one or zero whole star then that 0 0 is not required at all hai na 0 0 bhi isme hi generate ho raha hai and 1 or 0 is any combination 
when you apply one or zero holster you should be very careful where you require any combination of one and zero then only you have to write one or zero holster yahan pe zero pe constraint hai it is always repeating even number of times so it cannot be one or zero holster i hope i am making it clear you people are understanding this okay fine shall we move on to the next example okay write a regular expression for the language containing odd number of ones if i have even number of zeros i can make it odd right how to make it odd what they say they want even number of ones right i can i have e can i have e students can i have e in even number we had e can we can we have e in odd number can we have e epsilon in odd number of ones we cannot have okay what is the minimum length then what is the minimum length and what is the string i can have one yes then can i have a zero can i have a zero we can have zero one right i cannot have single one right Oh, sorry single zero then uh, zero one one zero yes right can i have zero zero can i have zero zero no can i have one one no obviously because it is even length so in two length i can have zero one or one zero right then i can have zero zero one i can have zero one zero i can have one zero zero right and i can have 1 1 but okay and so on okay coming to are now tell me the are now tell me the are what may be the are we know how to generate i'll i am giving you the hint we know how to generate even numbers okay add one to that you'll get odd numbers tell me now what may be the are we know how to generate even number string if we add one to that we'll get odd number string so what may be the are what may be the are students quickly students what is the are one or uh, sarita you you cannot put one uh in the bracket just check that if you put one in the bracket then again it is one star right one star matlab odd even everything are you getting students sarita did you get what i say you put, you have put one right one ko aapne star kiya right to wo one star matlab 
zero times, one time, two time, three time, and so on. Right? Okay, Mithilesh. Okay, by mistake. Fine. Any other answer? Any other answer? Quickly, students. Any other answer? Students, we know how to make, how to make even, how to create even number of strings. I said, if you add one, you'll get odd length string. Ye ho gaya mera odd length string, na? Right? This is my odd length string. Uh, Yashashri, whenever you are repeating one, it is always together. I cannot generate uh, like, what is it? One zero one zero. One zero one zero one. You are repeating two ones together always, right? So see here, see this. We know, we know how to generate even length string, right? We know how to generate even length string. If I add a one, so this is my odd length. Do you agree with this? This is odd length string. Do you agree with the students? I got odd number of ones from this. I got even number from this, right? And I got odd, from, odd number of ones from this, right? Okay, now. Now, but what they say, the string also contains zero, right? Now, think on zero. Zero ka kuch constraint hai kya? Nahi hai. Kahi par bhi kitne bhi bar repeat ho sakta hai. What do you mean by anywhere? Put it everywhere then. Put it everywhere. Okay. So, any number of time. So, it is zero star zero star everywhere i hope you are getting this yes yes ishani now you are right yes kartak yes okay this zero you can put it or you can uh, remove it because we already have a zero star here no problem even if you add it even if you don't add it i hope you got this answer Students, I hope you got this answer. Is this clear? Is this clear? Okay, fine. Shall we move on to the next example then? Just coming to the next example. Okay, uh, just go through the question. They have given the language. Okay, in the form of some other uh, form, and we have to write RE for that. Okay, what they say is AB raised to N. It is this is raised to, okay, I haven't put that. Uh, yeah, Rajan, I can hear you talking. Rajan. Uh, so it is a b raised to n a b raised to n w a b raised to n w right what is a b raised to n they have given n is always greater or equal to three three or more times this b is repeating three or more times and what is this w w they say a or b whole raised to plus they have already given this is even this is whole raised to power to the power plus okay so simple they have already given half of the uh, re and we have to regenerate the re okay they have they say a b okay should be repeated three times raised to n 
and n is greater or equal to 3 right so if i write b raised to 3 means b is repeating exactly three times i hope you are getting this students i hope you are getting this b raised to 3 means b is repeating exactly three times okay and now what they say is it is three or more right it is three or more so i'm repeating here b only for three times now i should repeat it more times so what we'll do we'll add b star is this clear is this clear are you getting this students did you get this b raised to 3 b star what is b raised to 3 b star it is three or more okay after that what they say you have a w which is repeating it is a combination of a and b any combination of a and b repeating one or more times so it is a or b raised to plus any doubt in this students any doubt in this let me know just give me a second Any doubt, students? Any doubt in this? This window is disturbing a lot. Ooh. Any doubt in this? Okay, shall we move on to the last example then? Okay. See, the last example is your application of array. Write a regular expression for the language of C identifiers. This is how your compilers work okay re is used in your compilers any language any language python has its own language right python has its own language then java has its own language every language has its own uh, 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 what is that rules and regulations to generate the string to generate uh, to write the program right so now according to that what is this right regular expression for language of c identifiers do you remember how the what are the rules for c uh, identifiers in c programming it can start with it can have as a what are the rules for uh, c uh, identifiers in c c programming you can it can start with the underscore okay it cannot start with number right right it cannot start with digit it can have underscore or or only underscore it should always start with underscore is that so no special characters very good fine no keywords okay it can start with alphabet okay so you have we have a to z right alphabet as it a to z so what i'll take i'll take l okay I'll take L as all letters from A to Z and capital, it can have even capital, right? It, it, it is not uh, compulsory that it should have only small letter. It can have even capital letter. So what I'm taking, I'm taking small letter A to Z and capital letter A to Z. Uh, Utkarsh, you are wrong. It cannot start with the number. It cannot start with the digit. It can start with the underscore. Okay. So, I'll take D as digits or numbers. That is 0 to 9. Okay. So, what 
our identifier says is the identifier says uh, it should always start with the letter or underscore. Is it right? So what I'll take, I'll take L or underscore at the start. I hope you're getting this. It can have underscore. Sorry, it is not a flower bracket. It is curled, okay, rounded brackets. Okay, so it can start with the letter or it can start with the underscore. Yes, Preeti, very good. Yes, your answer is absolutely right. After that, you can have any letter, right? Any digit or you can have underscore repeated any number of time. So this becomes my RE. Okay, so this is the real application of RE, where your RE is used. Even while you search students, if you want to search something in your system, if you want to uh, search some system, like uh, some file in your system, have you write, okay, if I know my, uh, mm, that is document, if I know that it is a document, Word document. So I know that my extension is dot doc, but I don't remember the name. So what I give, I give star dot doc in the search. So what it will give you all the files with dot doc. Is it right? That is the application of RE. If I know that my file starts with G, so what I give, I give G star dot doc then all the files which has the starting letter name with G, it will give me, give me all those files. G star dot doc. If I don't know the extension, but I know the name. I know that I have saved it as one, two, three. But I don't know whether I have stored it as dot doc or dot excel. So what I can give, I can give one, two, three dot star. So one, two, three, I know the name of the file. So one, two, three, ke naam se jo bhi file hai, it will display all those files. This is the application of regular expression. Okay, even in your programming language, we use RE. Okay, while writing the rules, while accepting the rules, what it gives, it gives you such kind of RE. So this is how it is written. I hope you are getting the application students. Did you get this? Okay. So these were the few, uh, these were few examples on RE. Okay. So uh, we'll uh, stop for RE and we'll move on to the next topic. Okay. I'll upload all these uh, examples that we have solved and I'll give you some practice examples so that you can practice those examples. Okay, I'll upload that in uh, your classroom. You can just go through. Students, uh, a humble request to you that please whenever you finish with one topic, it's better that you go to your uh, practice um, uh, questions that I have put it and complete it. Otherwise, you will forget what was taught and what has to be done. Okay. Any doubt, students? Any doubt regarding Ari? Any doubt regarding Ari? Clear? Okay. I'll. Uh, we cannot move into the next topic. Um. Uh, this one. So what I'll do? I'll just give you the introduction. That's all. Okay. And then we can leave. Okay. Just I'll give you the introduction to the next topic. So if you remember, we have done this, we have seen this, right? I told you that whenever a DFA is created, okay, how we create a DFA, finite uh, deterministic finite automata, given a language to DFA is converted with these steps, right? Language is converted to RE, RE is converted to NFA with epsilon, NFA with epsilon to NFA without epsilon, NFA without epsilon to DFA, DFA to minimize DFA, right? So now in our previous uh, 
uh, this one slides we have completed this language to re so our next topic would be re to nfa with epsilon re to nfa with epsilon okay fine so what is this nfa with epsilon what is this nfa with epsilon okay in nfa with epsilon you can change the state if you remember our state table or transition diagram okay uh, the examples that we have seen till now we were transiting from one state to another state on some input the given input zero ho ya one ho a b anything right but what nfa with epsilon say epsilon says that we can also transit from one state to another state without reading any input okay and without reading input we uh, write it as epsilon we denote it as epsilon that is empty input without reading input we can change the state so why this is required why when we have input we can change the state from uh, that is from one state to another state on some input then why is this required it becomes very easy for some examples to transit from one state to another state without reading input and then read the input and then transit to some other state okay to make this easy we have re to nfa with epsilon and then nfa with epsilon to nfa and then dfa okay so that is why we first see that how to convert a given re to nfa with epsilon what do you mean by epsilon students that is we are transiting from one state to another state on empty string and empty string is denoted by epsilon i hope this slide is clear what is nfa with epsilon is this clear students yes okay so uh, it's uh, 12 